Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, today's readings call us to examine the authenticity of our faith. In Deuteronomy 4, 1 through 2, 6 through 8, Moses instructs the Israelites to faithfully observe God's commandments, not adding or subtracting from them. This is echoed by Saint James in his letter, James 1, 17 to 18, 21b to 22, 27, where he urges us to be doers of the word and not hearers only. Finally, in Mark 7, 1 to 8, 14 to 15, 21 to 23, Jesus challenges the Pharisees and us to focus not just on outward rituals, but on the purity of our hearts. Make receiving three the practical lessons arise regular from these readings and heartfelt practice. One, allowing Christ to, to dwell word. within you and like transform your lives. lives. Second, we are called to follow God's living communion with faithfully. others. This means the aligning Eucharist our lives is not just with a personal encounter with Christ, living out God's teachings in also every aspect of our one. daily routines. It unites us to with the entire church. Active faith, reminding us to Saint James, love and support one another. That faith is not strength in your relationships, but about action. By embodying Christ's we must love, put our faith into practice in your interactions by loving with family, serving others, friends, especially those in the wider community. community. Three, finally, inner purity. Embrace the gift. Jesus teaches that true defilement comes from within. We must examine our hearts regularly, striving for purity in our thoughts, intentions, and actions. As we reflect on these lessons, let us pray for the grace to live an authentic faith that glorifies God in all we do. Uh